Okay, this is the Mark III. It's uh, front wheel drive and it's had a few differences made to it. <laughs> Here we go. All right. There, look. Very light back. And uh, long travel front, um, triangulated the upper wishbones. Makes the steering really, really firm. Just it's, it's good. It's um it's, it's good to drive. I also put a tiny little washer in here to take out any any slack this is something that you probably wouldn't have seen before in model cars um, uneven spring tension what this does is because the, uh, the motors to one side it means that the, the weight on each front wheel is the same which is really important when you're running Front wheel drive only. Motor and heat sink. Uh, nice new shorty pack. Deliberately fitted more to the right. Again, it's to uh, balance the weight. High off the ground radio. Keeps it dry, keeps it clean. 4kV short course motor roll bars front and rear and uh, 1 16th scale uh, Revo road tyres really good um, they don't balloon too much a bit but uh, so anyway, Outlaw uh, gearbox, driving to the front, um, another bit off the Outlaw, battery box off the uh, Canyon, um, what else, what else, what else, well, kind of standard. FTX carnage at the front, apart from these pieces, which uh, really do help make it more rigid. Ah, uh, yeah, super important now. Check this out. See in here the uh, lower control arm pivots. What I've done is I've angled them down at the front, which stops the uh, the car rising when you accelerate. So you can actually see in here. It's anti-lift basically. So when it accelerates, it um, pulls it down slightly, which gives you more traction. All right. I think that's about all I've got for you. Oh yeah, the car looks really wide but it's not, it's just standard carnage um, suspension parts. Okay then, there it is.